Okay, I have something very, very interesting to show you today. Um, as you can see, I have a selection of cards on the table. I think there's 16 of them of various uh, value suits, colors, and so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix these with input from you, and then we're going to perform something called the Hummer Shuffle. So if you've seen that before, it's a great way to just mix the cards face up, face down. Uh, but before we get there, um, I want you feeling confident about, you know, the cards as they are here. So we're going, no, sorry, you need to decide left on right or right on left. Okay, kind of jumping the gun here. Uh, you're supposed to be um, dictating kind of how things are done. Uh, we can stack from left to right or right to left. We can even do leapfrog if you've seen that before. Right to left, leapfrog. Okay, so this is where this one leaps over its neighbor, lands there. This one leaps over its neighbor, lands there. How would you like these stacked? Left on right? Okay, very good. Uh, we can also do a down under. Have you seen this before? It's called the Australian Shuffle, uh, down under. And if you've studied uh, mathematical card magic at all, uh, you'll know that the down under shuffle uh, makes a mess of uh, just about every packet structure out there. It truly does. It really destroys things. Uh, why don't we do, um, I call it an up jog. I think most people call it an out jog. <laughs> so we're going to jog forward uh, the even position cards, and then we'll strip those out with random stacking decided by you. You want right on left? Okay, very good. Uh, we can also do a Klondike, if you've seen that before. Uh, this is a great way to mix cards because you're bringing the top and bottom cards off together. Okay, and then we can follow that up with a Mon Shuffle. Uh, that comes in two varieties, Over Under or Under Over. Which one would you like? Under Over? Okay, so this is where the first card goes under, then over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then let's see, should we do any others? We can deal into eight piles, actually. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can fit these. I apologize if it goes off. Two, four, six. Okay, so it may go off ah, just a little bit. We can actually deal out into eight piles if you like. Whoa, okay, barely fitting it here. Uh, how would you like these? Stack, left to right, right to left, or leapfrog <laughs> of all things. You want left to right? Leapfrog. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of concentration. That one jumps over its neighbor. This one jumps over its neighbor. This one jumps over its neighbor. This one jumps, leaps over there. This one jumps over here. And then this one jumps over here. How would you like these stacked? Way over here. You want the right on left? Okay. Apologize for going off the screen there. We can even do a feral shuffle if you've seen that before. Now it's getting a little bit tricky to do a feral shuffle um, and you know, spreading them like this. But the idea is you, you count off, see, two, four, six, eight. You count off half the cards and then you just perfectly interlace them. Now technically one interlacing leads to what's called a feral in and the other one to a feral out. I think I did that right. I want to make sure I'm doing it exactly right. Don't want anyone to think I'm being sneaky there. Okay, well, we could do a lot more shuffling, actually, if you wanted to, but let's go into something called the Hummer Shuffle. So this is where you randomly cut, flip two, uh, random cut, flip two, okay, random cut, uh, flip two, okay, very good. Uh, we can even flip like four, so random cut, flip four. See, that's four. Okay, random cut, flip four. And we can even do it to the table, actually. So we could put out little pairs here. So, and you can flip them or stack them or do whatever you like with them. <laughs> if I can fit them here. Okay, so how would you like me to pick these up? Top, okay, and then this one here. This one here, you want it flip first? No, how about this one? Leave as is, what about this one? Flip, okay. This one leave as is, this one flip, this one flip. Okay, well, I think that's enough mixing using the Hummer Shuffle. Okay, and so what we're going to do to finish is I'm going to deal out the cards into four piles. Okay, we've kind of done this sort of thing already. And now I'm going to give you a choice. We're going to fold the packets left to right, right to left, or inside out, or outside in. What would you like? Inside out. Okay, so this is how it works. 
Okay, very good. And now we're going to flip and stack in either order. You want the left flipped and stacked on top of the right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and spread these and see what we found. Well, I don't know if you noticed anything interesting, but every time I do this, something very strange happens. There's a perfect symmetry between the number of even value cards and odd value cards. Okay, I don't know if it's, I haven't even checked here, but let's see. So what will always happen is the number of up facing cards will consist of a certain number of even value cards, but the same number of odd value cards. I mean, how the universe achieves this perfect balance, I haven't a clue. So let's look at this. Okay, so we have a one odd, so that's one odd, second odd, a third odd, a fourth odd, right? <laughs> and then eight is even, 10 is even, two is even, queens of 12 is even. It happens every time, and it happens to both sides. Even, so one even, two, three, four. Uh, one odd, two, three, four. It, so if you can explain this to me, I will be very, very grateful. Well, the fact is, um, I will explain it to you, okay? I'm pretending to be ignorant here. Okay, so how does this work? Uh, it's an, This effect has never been seen before by the eyes of man. Okay, I want you to know that. How do I know that to be true? Because it uses quasi bessie sequences of order 16, which are relatively new, and is being paired with the Kato principle, the Hummer principle, okay? Those two have never been married together, okay? So let me just quickly show you how I set up the packet. So a quasi bessie sequence is as follows. It's like 10010110 and then this thing gets reversed and then copied over here. This is just a dividing line. So all I did was I had an even value card, two odd value cards at the beginning, and then an even, odd, two even, odd, and then odd, two even, an odd, even, two odd, and an even. So if you go back to that original spread of 16 cards, you'll see that it has this structure, and this structure is impervious to virtually all of the systematic random mixing procedures we use today. And so I'll include a link in the description to quasi Bessie sequences, as well as Bessie sequences, that talk about the invariance, the amazing property of this sequence to survive just, just tremendous mixing. And then once we preserve this, we apply the Hummer principle to it, and then we can draw the conclusion that we did, that there will be an equal number of even value cards and odd value cards facing each direction. Okay, absolutely amazing. So this is true mathematical card magic. So thank you for watching and look for the links in the description below. I also have uh, videos on the Hummer principle if you want to learn about that. So thank you again and I hope you'll join me in other videos on this channel. So thank you again.